right. The first time I met Priscilla Johnson at Wake Forest Baptist Health was in the emergency room. She came in as a code stroke patient. When I saw her in the bed in the emergency room, she was unable to speak and unable to move her right side. I started out my normal routine of the day, running errands, and while I was running my errands, I decided to get a pedicure. While I was getting my pedicure, I did not realize anything was wrong with me, but the attendant realized there was something wrong. She took me down from the chair, and I couldn't speak, and my right side was numb. They called 911 immediately. They came and took me to Baptist Medical Center. And it's just a good story from there. I have been a good survivor. It had been determined that she did have a blood clot obstructing the blood flow in her brain, causing her to be unable to speak and unable to move her right side. The best course of action was to give the intravenous clot busting medicine. They were planning to give me this clot busting drug, which I needed to get as soon as possible. And they were trying to get in touch with my daughter, and they finally got in touch with her, and she and my granddaughter came, and it was good to see them. I did, I was beginning to realize who was around me, and I remembered them coming in. From there on, I began to, you know, improve my speech and my, the feeling in my hand. I was talking on the phone and talking to my visitors and seemed to be almost back to normal and just not too, it wasn't too long before I did. Priscilla and I have developed a very close relationship since her stroke occurred. We frequently talk, and we go on walks together, and we go to other community events. It's very important, as she was in the right place at the right time, and everything happened perfectly. She came to the emergency room at Wake Forest Baptist Health, and we were able to immediately treat her. The primary stroke center at Wake Forest Baptist Health has five board certified stroke specialists. We are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week to treat emergency stroke patients. We can deliver many forms of emergency stroke care. Stroke treatment is very time sensitive. We only have three hours in which we can give the intravenous TPA but we are able to expand that window of treatment up to six, even to eight hours after onset of symptoms by special devices that we have. If you think that there's a possibility that you are having a stroke, if you are start beginning to slur your words or, cannot, or don't have good feeling in your hands or something, the best thing to do is call 911 and get to the hospital as soon as possible and let them figure out if you have had a stroke. Priscilla has returned to her normal activities and is doing absolutely wonderful now. Does everything she wants to and is a very active, productive member of our community. And I thank my church family and my all my friends. I mean, and they, they all worry about me. They keep up with me. If I don't show up for something, they call. I want to know how, you know, if I'm okay. And uh, it's just been wonderful to have this family of friends.